Here's the guts of some really nasty, uh, crappy Chinese computer speakers that we got years ago because we needed a set of computer speakers and because they've been replaced with better ones, um, well actually because one of these um, 1 8 inch uh, TRS uh, jacks has failed, it isn't making proper contact internally. Um, there's the guts. It's um, fairly nasty, cheap paper PCB and it's, it's not even the good paper stuff that you can get from places like uh, Jameco and what um, some proto boards are made of. Um, two chips inside, one is a TDA2822 which is I suspect some kind of an audio amplifier probably being used as a preamplifier or something. This chip which I don't know what it is because I can't get the heat sink off because it's stuck down with some what's hopefully thermal adhesive although who knows. Um, but it's a DIL 16 package so it's going to be a, um, just a standard cheap uh, audio amplifier chip. Typical really nasty Chinese Lytics, uh, all 185 degree Fahrenheit as to be expected. These two TF branded ones which are DC blocking caps for the input. Um, various Akon branded ones. Um, Samcons and this one which is Nichikan or it's branded Nichikan which was a bit surprising at first but I suspect it's very much a counterfeit transistor because if you look at it the Nichikan printing isn't on a straight line you can see it curves upward in the middle and also the heat shrink the printing is kind of on the thin side where the uh, black of the actual heat shrink stock kind of bleeds through in the center and the top has a kind of a Y stamping was these are some legitimate Nich Nichikan capacitors out of my own personal stock and you can see all of them have X or cross shaped um, stamping on top for the overpressure relief vent and you can see that the um, printing on all of these is a lot better and these are all ranging from typical cheap consumer grade ones relatively speaking to this blue one which is a uh, very expensive for its size. This is I think over 40 cents. A, this one capacitor was over 40 cents and that was in quantity. Like uh, either 10 or 25 from DigiKey. But then again this is an automotive grade, very high temperature, very long life capacitor so you would expect that. And all of them the print, the uh, printing is substantially better. And I may see about desoldering that one and just measuring its characteristics because I have a knock on with decent ESR meter now. I don't expect it to be very good with the capacitor anyway. Then the power supply consisted of um, this transformer I actually checked under no load. It does get a bit on the warm side. It's marked 110 volts 50 cycles per second. So um, 120 volts 60 cycles per second, which isn't a problem because um, even though the electrical potential is almost 10% higher, the frequency is 20% higher. So the actual flux loading in the core is less. And uh, then there's just a, a gray its bridge and that which is the main filter capacitor which given that it's the fake Nietzsche kind is kind of scary. And then what's really scary is this which is the mains input lead. It's just like that one that I looked at or did an, an expose video of about oh, uh, a couple of years ago. Really thin copper. I think it's probably maybe 20 or about maybe 22 gauge. And this hasn't been stripped for more than a couple hours, and you can see that it's that it, it isn't the shiny bright that you expect virgin copper to be. That's because this is like a lot of these cheap uh, Chinese appliance cords. They use improperly deslagged recycled copper because you're supposed to use virgin mine stuff because you can refine it back to the four nines purity, but it's not economically viable to do that under most circumstances. So recycled copper typically goes into plumbing fittings and whatnot. And um, power and um, any electrical anything typically uses virgin stuff just because of how it's refined, where it's some um, electrifying. But basically, the copper ore is refined to about 80 odd percent purity, cast into big plates, and then the, it's electroplated onto stainless steel plates, where they then peel off the resulting sheets of copper and melt that down. And all the crap precipita precipitates out of the bottom of the tank. Now, that crap is various other valuable metals like silver and some other ones so that's refined and other stuff but yeah kind of guffing yeah kind of scary don't recognize really recommend these 
supposedly 300 volts. I don't trust it. And also scarily, the plug, 6 ampere, 250 volts. Wouldn't trust it as far as I could throw it into the um, triple C mark, which is China compulsory certification, which is basically meaningless standard. So yeah, not recommended.